Hi, this is Ward Wilsey with Armor House Painting. Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, just want to do a quick review of Sherwin-Williams Alabaster. This is one of the most popular paint colors that we use, both interior and exterior. So let's learn a little more about it. And there it is in all of its digital glory. You'll notice that it is creamy in nature. And that comes, um, that comes across a lot more in the color swatches you would get from Sherwin-Williams or what you're seeing here. Um, which which I get from a digital file. Uh, in in practice, I, you know, and and the reason I'm bringing this up is sometimes people think it's too creamy in nature, and they were, they they don't want to consider alabaster. But the reality is, it, it it's a it's a off white. It's 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 very white, and we'll see that in a later picture, especially on exteriors. It's not something where you're going to be overwhelmed by its creaminess, but it is slightly creamy and warm in nature. Uh, it's bright. It's got an LRV of 72. It's going to be warm, comfortable, and that's what it's going to do to your spaces. And that's why it is, you know, one of the top four uh, colors, uh, most uh, top four popular colors Sherwin Williams makes. This is the one where people don't necessarily want it um, offhand because they've heard the stories about it being too creamy. I never find that to be the case in practice. Now, people will go with something else like a snowbound because they like things that are cooler or an Eider Cove, or they may want something that's a little more classic like a Greek villa, or they may want something that's just a plain white, like a pure white. But no one ever looks at alabaster when I do a paint sample and goes, oh, that's that's yellow or that's that's way too creamy. You get that reaction sometimes with, with a Dover white by comparison. Um, let's look at it in different spaces. It's common for bedrooms. What, we'll, what you'll commonly do with bedrooms is you'll see the bedroom painted um, alabaster, and then you'll do an accent wall, either in a charcoal or a navy. What that combination does in bedrooms is it cools it down. Theoretically, for uh, uh, sleeping quarters, you'll want cooler elements, um, blues, grays, uh, dark colors, things like that, whether it's in the bed sheets, the, uh, the, the furniture, uh, the drapes, things like that. But an easy way to do that is just do an accent color on the wall, even if you have the rest of the room painted alabaster along with the bathroom. So that's real common, and especially in master bedrooms, but guest beds and, and uh, other beds as well. Living rooms, extremely popular color. You'll see here that it's combined with something that's probably pure white, uh, Sherwin Williams pure white. Um, you know, alabaster is best paired with a, a nondescript trim color and, and door color. Um, but you can also, I've seen it used with, um, you know, especially doors painted tricorn black, um, painted iron ore, uh, painted peppercorn, things like that. That looks really good as well. But, you know, for your standard kind of throughout the house, alabaster on the walls and pure white or, or uh, you know, uh, extra reflective white on the trim is just going to be a solid combination. Uh, you know, looking at bathrooms, again, common color. That's why it's a whole house color. Um, you know, it, it's something that, you know, you're going to want to pick for your whole house and then maybe do certain rooms, different colors and things like that. But for bathrooms, if you're doing the rest of the house in alabaster, you know, it's going to work really well for your bathrooms as well. Uh, you know, kitchens, it just goes with everything. You know, you don't have to worry as much about what your countertops, what your flooring, uh, what all that stuff is going to look like. You are normally going to want to do the, if you're doing the walls of alabaster, have a different color for the cabinets. In this case, they've done, you know, pure white on the cabinets and trim, which is always going to be a solid combination. Others that work well, or if you go with a shoji white for the for the cabinets, or even do the cabinets in colors, uh, which is getting more and more popular. Um, but alabaster is just a great color for the wall. Exteriors, people are going to tell you that alabaster doesn't work for exteriors, but I'm going to show you in a minute that it does, and it's really good, especially in the Texas Hill Country. In this pic from the Sherwin Williams site, it does come across as a little more off white than I think it is in reality. Um, and, and maybe even a little more creamy, but when the sun is uh, reflecting on an alabaster painted house, it does come off as a bold white. There is still some creaminess in there, but it's real slight. And what the creaminess works really well for is if you pair it with, in, you know, in, in the Austin area, a lot of homes have limestone, Texas flagstone, 
different types of stone and bricks and it just works really well here's here's an example of one we recently did um, and you can see with even this is the hardest stone to paint against um, this 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 flagstone uh, but alabaster just works perfectly and that's uh, paired with black magic on the trim uh, so alabaster overall extremely versatile color um, it's going to work in a variety of situations and is just something that that is going to got to be one of your top selections um, again on interiors i've said this in other videos i always have clients look at pure white agreeable gray uh, alabaster snowbound and dover white those are the top five most popular and then that gives us a direction to go from there um, and oftentimes alabaster is going to be a top selection just because it works with so many different rooms, so many different fixed settlements like counters, cabinets, flooring, furniture, art, etc. It's just a really good color and should always be a consideration for you. Well, thanks for viewing. If you have any questions, go to www.armorhousepainting.com and we do color consultations and obviously painting. So feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.